today, I'm gonna help you guys pick your mains by giving you info on every single character in Anime Showdown. Alright, we're gonna go straight into it. The first character we're gonna look at is gonna be Joker from Fire Force. So this character has two auto tracking moves for all you guys out there that can't aim. His second auto tracking move does huge damage and it also block breaks. So he's more of a long range character and because of this you can use your long range moves to get in close to your opponent. After awakening he has a teleporting move that gets you right up in your opponent's cheeks. He also has like this smoke evasive move that makes you less visible to your opponent so it's perfect for sneaking and creeping around. The only downside to this character I can see is that he may be a harder character for new players to learn. And his M1s are a bit slower than other characters like for example Ippo or Jotaro. Speaking of Ippo, he's the next character on the list. So Ippo is a high pressure character, meaning if you get the person against the wall, then they're finished. So Ippo is a fairly easy character to learn, and it's easy to get off combos with him as long as you get them in the right range. The one drawback to him is he's a short range character, so you're gonna have to play up close and personal with him. Um, it's easy to get off air combos with Ippo and his third move has a pretty large hitbox with good damage. Another upside to Ippo is that his moves look a lot like his M1s do, so it can be easy to trick your opponents. Like I said before, Ippo is a short range character and you're gonna have to get up close and personal to fight, so that means that Ippo might be weak against more experienced long range players or people that are using characters like Jotaro or even Asta whose M1s are extended because of his sword. Jotaro is another character that's easy to learn, his moves pretty much flow together well and they're easy to combo. The last hit on his aura barrage guard breaks and after awakening he has a time stop move and his star beatdown move does crazy damage. Jotaro is another character that's mostly short range but he does have like one long range attack and he just throws a big ass rock. Another downside to Jotaro is that his aura barrage has a short range up until the final punch and he's still a solid character to main overall because he's a high pressure character just like Ippo. Not to mention after awakening he also has the counter move that teleports you right behind your opponent. Rimuru might actually be one of the best characters in the game right now. He has a nice mix of long and short range moves and after awakening he has this one move that auto tracks and another one that sucks up your opponent. Pause. Really the only flaw I can see with Rimuru is that he might be a harder character for some of you guys to learn and some of his moves leave you wide open to attacks if you mistime them or if you just completely miss. I already know Asa is going to be a fan favorite when the game releases. He has a long M1 range because of the two big beefy swords he has by his side. He also has a long range slash move that does pretty okay damage. And Asta also has a move that you can use to skedaddle if you decide to run out of there. Asta has two modes. Some people like his mini mode better than his actual mode. I think it's up to you to decide which one you prefer. Some flaws that I can see in Asta right now is that his M1s are kinda slow, again because of the two big beefy swords he has. One of his awakening skills, the bull thrust move, it can't be turned like how Demon Slicer can. And one of his black slash moves is slow, but it has a good range and does big damage. All in all, like I said, Asta's gonna be a fan favorite character when the game comes out. He's a pretty solid character to use. Normally Naruto is trash in anime games, but in this game he's actually one of the best and most annoying characters. He has fast M1s and he's good for stacking points, and his shadow clones alone can carry you. And I'm pretty sure he's the only character with like 3 awakenings. Right now Naruto doesn't have many flaws, some of his moves like the Rasengan for example kinda have a big startup, and as of right now you can get boxed up by your own clones. All in all Naruto is a pretty solid character, he might be the easiest one for you guys to learn. Tengen's flamboyant self is one of my favorites and he's definitely a good character to use. His M1s are fast, he's good for stacking points, he has a nice mix of long range and short range moves, he has multiple AoE moves, he's just a versatile character that's good at controlling the area around him. He actually doesn't have many flaws that I can think of. I know if you miss his first skill like the supersonic blitz, you can be open to attacks because it has end lag to it. I know his first form war move has a long wind up to it, but Tengen is definitely going to be my main for sure. Shinra might be the most popular character in the game, and for good reason. His M1s are fast, his awakening one shots and his devil footprint move does stupid damage. That's if it hits of course. He also has a skill called corner that one shots but it takes all of your energy and it has a pretty long cooldown. Shinra's flaws is that he's another short range character and he has multiple moves that has like long ass cooldowns. I'ma say if you're gonna play as Shinra air combos are gonna be your best friend. Overall Shinra is worth the hype. I think he's probably one of the best characters in the game. I know I keep saying that but he actually is one of the best characters in the game. The last character on the list is gonna be Gon. He's a pretty decent character. Character, I guess. He's one of the more basic ones and there's not much to him. He's an easy character to learn, he has decent M1 speed, and he has a move that teleports you right into your opponent's cheeks and it does good damage. 
Almost all of his awakening moves do pretty big damage, especially his beatdown move, but almost all of his moves have a pretty slow windup and their cooldowns are kinda long. So like I said, he's a decent character. I would say if I had to make a tier list, he would be close to the bottom I would say, but it depends on how you use him of course, but yeah, he's a pretty decent character.